Oh, well, I greeted. I greeted. I greeted. I greeted. And I deserve to be punished for it, okay? Don't greed like that. Now, we begin. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Dirty Mouse back with some more Alawi gameplay. I'm versus Wukong in the top lane. A rare matchup. I'm excited for it. They're running Ignite. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, yeah, I've been playing a lot on my higher elo account, getting it back to Grandmaster Challenger. Um, I, I guess I need to work on my main account. A lot of y'all probably looked that one up too on like OPGG. I probably need to, after I get this account that I've been playing on, it's on a different name. Um, Our Turn Baby on on NA, a homage to Wreckful's uh, old PvP guild back in WoW. I don't know if y'all remember it. It was a sup, sup Fresh Our Turn Baby. I don't know if it was that whole thing, but that was... That was the guild he, he started, and it was a big PvP guild back in the day. A little homage to that. Um, yeah, we're versus Wukong. It's, you can see, it's pretty pretty passive early. Wukong could have been way more aggressive so far in this lane, but I'm fine. I mean, I'm fine with this. He could be eating me a lot more than he is. He's using Qs and Ws to get CS. Ideally, this lane would be farther back. If he was playing more aggressive, it would be farther back. But because he's been passive a lot like I do, um, it's causing low wave not to push. I imagine he's in like EVs. Yeah, nice. That's good. Because uh, my Kha'Zix started top side, so he's going to path into bot side. And by, by the other theme, Hecarim started bot side and is going to go top side, right? But my, my jungler is at bot scuttle right now. You can imagine a Hecarim is probably at top scuttle. The fact that we don't see scuttle on this ward means he's likely pushing scuttle up to top lane and probably looking for a gank or the tri bush. When you're on this side of the map, uh, is this red side? We're on this side of the map. Oh no, Hecarim's bot. Interesting. This top side is more exposed to jungle ganks through the tri bush compared to the side Wukong's on. Wukong is very, very well protected from the turret. Uh, what I did there was I, I did a fake turn. So when you when you ease someone in a direction, you turn. So if you want to kind of trick someone who has a way to outplay your, uh, your E, you do a fake turn. So you attack, you turn away, and then you turn back. I'll view that as you eat. One thing to actually um, go ahead and eat. dash into me. Ah! Wait, no, 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 please. Please. I don't know where Hecram is. I'm just scared. I think I die here. I'm dead. No, that connected. I was gonna auto W flash away, but is E connected? Man, it's actually there. Oh well, I greeted. I greeted. I greeted. I greeted, and I deserve to be punished for it. Okay, don't greed like that. Typically, I wouldn't. I felt a little spicy, and you know what? I got punished. The thing is, it already happened this game. We can't change that. But what we can do is think about in the in the next situation. I'm in in that spot where I'm like, hey, uh, it's probably just bad because <laughs> uh, their jungler could be here. I've teleport. Like the wave's in a fine state. I should go through this thought process and remember that moment and go, ah, yes, I've been punished here before. That's a big step in like the improvement process. It was a big step for me when I was uh, getting better at League. <laughs> I um, getting a kill here is really nice. Obviously, ah! funny. Well, because uh, Wukong's gonna lose a lot from the wave crashing, and I get plates. Uh, so what I did, a lot of people don't know this about Alawi, but when you ult, your tentacles become empowered. So they attack 50% quicker, and they also don't have an animation hitbox, okay? So what you can do is, to the unsuspecting foe, press R, right as the tentacle spawns, so that as soon as it 
spawns, it'll slam onto the vessel target. The, the target has to be a vessel. Very important to this. Um, if they're a vessel, then the tentacle will slam, empowered slam at them, and they probably won't expect it. A more experienced player would. Um, especially since a lot of the high elo players I've trained to know to watch out for that at this point. Um, but these players right now, they're not going to, like, some of them will, some of them won't, like, react to that. Uh, for those who don't know about Allow, you your tentacles automatically attack the spirit, and when the spirit breaks, the target becomes a vessel. Right? Um, let's see, where does it say it? It, or it marks the enemy in the second paragraph. Marked enemies are called vessels, and tentacles treat them like the spirit. They'll automatically slam at them every every uh, three to four seconds, depending on your level. Nice, really good. Build hacker. I'm, I don't have ult, so I kinda, I'm kind of chilling for ten more seconds. Uh, we'll find my rotate. I mean, I would not rotate here. Wow. Destroyed. Because I've demolished, and, and not rotating guarantees I'm going to get about a kill's worth of gold between the wave and the turret plate. Whereas there's no guarantee, like, there's no guarantee at all for Wukong to get anything on his rotation. So Wukong's taking a lot of risk, and I'm taking no risk. And I start setting up my tentacles, too, so when he comes back, I can start looking for my next opportunity. My next opportunity is likely going to be a 1v2. You see my jungler and my support are invading their bot side. So Hecarim on spawn has to be up here right now. So I just need to prepare myself for the like 1v2. That's probably going to happen. They do have Ignite, which makes it kind of weird. They AFK? Wait, they AFK. Oh, uh, hello? Oh, there's Wukong and Nivea. If Nivea comes up here, I don't want to fight. I'm out of here. I'm not gonna be out. I am out of here. Okay. Anivia's right here. We saw in the ward. I think they're mad at each other. Hey, can y'all keep trying? Good video so far. Anivia, I don't want I don't do anything around Anivia. Anivia might actually be trying to get like a lane soft gun. Uh, Anivia is a hard counter to allow it. I suspect the Navy is saying here in this push. I want to wait till I see Wukong rotate the mid. Okay. My build right now is Holebreaker uh, into Trinity Force, Divine Sunder, depending. Typically just Trinity Force. A lot of y'all just need to pick one build that's like really good generic and just build it a lot until you get really good. My recommendation, recommendation for Laowei. Is a whole breaker Trinity Force Steric Gauge Death Stance Spirit Visage. Probably a pretty good, well rounded build. Got health, CDR, split push, team fighting. Um, good health pull, good damage output. Pretty much everything you can need in, in a Lowry's kit. I think uh, the biggest mistake, I, I think it, there's this weird paradigm in Layton. Over the years, it used to be that players were really bad at macro, so everyone would be like, hey, you need to get better at macro. And I think over time, players have gotten better at this overall. Um, to the point where they need to start focusing on like their mechanics again. A lot of people will ask me, they'll say, I'm doing really well in lane, but I don't want to do macro wise. I could actually do this, or I could reset and go help them with straight. Either one of these plays are fine, and I'll play both ways, uh, depending on the situation. But either play is okay. What matters more is how do I execute these plays. So if I'm split pushing here, like am I watching the minimap, and I, am I taking the right calculated fights? You know, if Wukong and Hecarim are coming up here, that's a fight I want. Good. But the moment I saw Nivea coming up here, whoa, 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 hold on. I don't want this. Hey, chill. Right? It's, it's having that awareness of the situation that's pivotal. Uh, same with team fighting, right? If you're going to go team fight, like, play around it well. Try to look for opportunities in ways that uh, will let you poke a little bit before the fight starts. 
or try to have flash up so you can you can actually just flash hold into the the play and get work done because that's really pivotal to how Alawi plays uh, team fights. I think that would benefit most of y'all more than this this idea that, oh, it must just be my macro game. That must be it. I'm winning lane. Uh, I bet there's a lot, an incredible amount of mechanical mistakes y'all are making, and you're not aware of it. So how do you evaluate, like, your mechanical mistakes? This is where it just gets into, like, your ability to... I just... I thought I saw, like, a Tristana jump here. Um... You, you want to look at situations you're in and think, could I have, like, thrown an ability better? Like here, you know, obviously I need to use really good, and if I threw out my E and miss, it would have been really bad. Um, that was a good E. Okay, I'm just going to, like, talk a lot to try to make this a real video. Um, but if you ever... But sometimes you might find yourself in situations where you actually play perfectly, uh, and there was nothing you could do better. You actually shouldn't have been in that situation. That's the that's the answer to that. People will think that, hey, there's nothing I could have done there. Like, look at it. There's literally nothing. I hit all my abilities. I played everything correctly. Like, well, then you obviously shouldn't be in that situation. Like, then the mistake, the mistake isn't in the moment. The mistake was 30 seconds ago, a minute ago. That's where the mistake was. You have to have, you have, to have an understanding that, like, you have full agency over what you're doing. You have some agency over what your teammates are doing. Ah! No. See, if I land E there, I actually just hard one. <laughs> the mistake there was uh, throwing E, like, kind of, I kind of, like, split a Nivian Hecarim. But I was taking a lot of risk, right? I put myself in a situation where if I miss E, it's likely I lose. Although I still almost won. I think if I write two items, I won that pretty easily. I don't know, just... If you want to get really good at League, you need to accept that you, there's a lot of things you could have done better in a lot of your games. And you just need to play a lot of games. You need to... The actual way to climb is having like a 55 to 60% win rate playing playing a thousand games a year and every year you're going to climb like one to two divisions so you get to like grandmaster challenger or you won't or you'll cope that oh um oh my teammates are just holding me back oh there's nothing i could do oh when 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 um a lot of players will give me like and i understand that also i understand that this Advice is kind of weird because mathematically you actually just can't have everyone be challenger. Like you can't have everyone be in the top 0.1%. Um, to that point, we we have to realize that most players do play with this mindset that, oh, it's my teammates holding me back. Oh, there was nothing I could have done. And that is the 99% of players, right? Your goal is to be the 1% of players who, who take agency over their, 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 their self. Right. Here I'm sure it's ending up bot because uh, it's only tier 2 up. I just want to split push with Ultbreaker. I do have Trinity Force Gold. Ultbreaker is pretty nice because uh, you get some. They've made changes to the split push meta that makes it much more viable. And you can, and split push makes your, Hole Breaker makes your split push threat so much more significant. And it gives you a lot of stats if you're split pushing, it's a very gold efficient. Right, those, the armor and magic resist you get is equivalent to a tank item uh, worth of defensive stats, which is just crazy. Because you also get the offensive capabilities as well. I just self worked up. The best play. Yeah, but this game's pretty. Going pretty well. Oh, there is a Trisana in this game. I don't even know. I don't even know who the bot laners are. I haven't seen them yet. 
cool. Good job, team. And if and the beauty of this is if your team member wins, you just run it down. Like you just you just hard stomp the sideline. It takes like a moderate victory for your team and turns it into an absolute victory. Beautiful. It's over. Nice job, team. I don't think you will, Hacker. Come on, Shelly. You gotta go to the big dance. Come on, Shelly. Go, go, go. Let's go. Look how happy she is. Right, let's look at the stats real quick. Um, I don't know. Team did well overall. 22 LP. Not top damage. I mean, my laners kind of just went and trolled <laughs> after like 10 minutes. Kind of annoying. With the gold graph. Yeah, I mean, we had a we had a pretty big lead early. By ten minutes, we had already had a twenty five hundred gold lead. What are you gonna do? Cool. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time.